A solar panel manufacturer is one step closer this week to opening up in Fort Mill. But as solar gains popularity in the Carolinas, some neighbors say they have concerns. WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman shares why. The solar power industry is heating up in the Carolinas. 10 years ago, it was less than 1% of our energy mix in the Carolinas. Today, it's around 6%. Duke Energy's solar plant in Monroe powers about 10,000 homes a year. Spokesperson Ryan Wheelis says North Carolina is fourth in the nation for solar power. What you're going to see in the future is Duke Energy building more of these solar facilities. This massive facility has more than 600,000 solar panels, and Duke Energy says it gets most of them from overseas. But that could change if more manufacturers come to the U.S. It'd be better if the panels were manufactured closer to our home. Silfab Solar wants to do just that. The company is inching closer to York County's approval to move into this Fort Mill facility where it would manufacture its panels. The deal would create 800 full-time jobs. Solar is great, but you know it's a trade off the good and the bad. Nearby neighbors support clean energy but worry about traffic on US 21. And everything over there is a one lane road in each direction, so it's gonna add a lot of volume. The site is near land currently being cleared for future Fort Mill schools, which concerns Danielle Graham. It's just a little too dangerous. It needs to sit in a rural area where it's got a buffer zone. As more homeowners and energy suppliers soak up the sun, Silfab Solar hopes to meet the demand. It'll need one more vote of approval from York County leaders before moving forward. In Fort Mill, Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte.